Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tech Topics. My name is Chris, and today we're going to continue our Hyper-V series with a section on live migration. For those of you familiar with VMware, this is the equivalent of a vMotion. Now, Hyper-V live migration is a little bit more complex than you might be used to, so the thing to remember is that there's three different types. You've got Hyper-V Manager, Failover Cluster Manager, and SCVMM. We're going to go over all three and the differences between them. Let's get started. I'm going to use SCVMM first because this is actually the easiest. So you can see I've added my four node cluster over here on the left to SCVMM. Once you've done that, that's really all there is to it. I've got two VMs, HAVM and non-HAVM. And if you want to move either one of them, you can simply right click and choose Migrate Virtual Machine. I'm going to move it over to host one. As you can see a progress bar pops up. You can click to see the current status. And that's it. I'm going to repeat for the other HAVM just to show that it's the same process. One thing to note is that SCVMM only allows you to change the HA status of a VM during a live migration using this checkbox here or during uh, VM creation. And that's it. So now I've moved both an HA and a non-HA VM to host one. Next, let's take a look at Failover Cluster Manager. Now, Failover Cluster Manager is what you're going to use to control your HA VMs. Connect to the cluster and then go down to roles. You'll see your HA VMs here. If you want to move one of these VMs, you can simply right click and choose move, live migration, select node, and move it to two. See the progress bar here? And it's complete. If it fails for whatever reason, you can click over here on the right, show critical events to see what happened. That brings us to our the third and most complex live migration using just Hyper-V Manager. So Hyper-V Manager you'll use to move VMs that are not HA and that you're not using SCVMM. If I go in here and I right click and I choose move, it asks me where I want to move the VM to. I choose my second host. I want to move only the virtual machine. I'm already on HA storage. As you can see here, it failed. In this case, it's saying that it doesn't have credentials to authenticate to the host. This is because we haven't configured the authentication protocol yet. So if I click on the host, and then Hyper-V settings over here on the right, you can go down to Live Migrations, to the Advanced Features. And you see here there are two authentication protocols. Cred SSP is the default, but this requires you to log directly into the machine to perform a live migration. Kerberos is the better one, but requires a little additional Active Directory configuration. So we're going to set it to Kerberos here and hit OK. As you can see, it says that we're going to need uh, constrained delegation. In order to configure that, we can go here to Active Directory Users and Computers, go into the computer object for that server, and go to Delegation. Now, what constrained delegation is, is it's telling the computer that it's allowed to use your account for certain processes. The reason is, is that it needs to move the VM as your user, not as the computer account. Uh, and, but you don't want to give the computer full access to your account. What if that computer gets a virus? Then it can do things on the network using your credentials and your permissions, which is not ideal. So we only trust it for specific services. There are two that you need in particular for live migration. So first we search for the computer name here. Now this is saying that computer one is allowed to use your credentials to log into computer two. Uh, first one we need is SIFS. This is because we're an SMB share. And the second one we need is Microsoft Virtual Migration Service. So we choose those two. And now, by hitting Apply here, we've now allowed Computer 1 to use your credentials when you initiate a move VM to log into Computer 2 and move a VM over there. In order for this to take effect, there's a couple things we need to do. Because it only takes effect once it gets issued a new ticket, the first thing we want to do is purge the Kerberos tickets in the system. Now we can do this from either PowerShell or the CVM. I'm going to do it here in PowerShell, actually. So we do enter PS session, VMS-1. So this is like opening an SSH session to your hosts. I'm going to issue the command klist purge. Purge my tickets. Now. I've cleaned out my tickets, and there's one last thing I need to do, and that's log out of my workstation and log back in. You need to do this because that is the only way for 
the tickets that get completely reissued. Because it's not just tickets between the hosts, it's tickets between your computer and the other machines. Okay? Now I've re-logged in. I've got to open up the Hyper-V Manager again. So now let's try to move this VM. As you can see, we're now succeeding, whereas before it was failing. Now, we only configured constrained delegation on one host in one direction. So you need to uh, reciprocally configure it on all your hosts, which can be a kind of a pain. So let's take a look at my other computers. As you can see here, I have on host 2, given it permissions to use SIFs and the virtual migration services on 1, 3, and 4. You got to do this for every host in the cluster. I've actually written a script that does all of this for you. It sets Kerberos on the hosts, and it gives constrained delegation to the cluster objects. So you can get that here on my blog or on the Nutanix GitHub. So definitely take a look at that and use that to simplify your config. And that's Hyper-V Live migration in a nutshell. As you can see, there's a little bit of extra config needed, especially when it comes to Hyper-V Manager Live Migration, but it's not that bad. I've got some posts on my blog that goes over this in more detail, along with the script that gets constrained delegation done for you in one go. So you should check those out. Thank you for joining us here in Tech Topics. We've got some really exciting things coming up in the next few weeks, so I hope you stay tuned. Have a great day.